welcome and or welcome back on C-square. In this video, okay, we're going to talk about standard form of a linear equation. And uh, first of all, let's uh, let's uh, see what this standard form is. By the way, if you remember, this is the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. The standard form is something that looks like this. So back here, sorry. So again, the standard form is something that looks like ax plus by equals c. So as you notice, um, a and uh, the x term, ax, and the uh, y term, by, are on one side, and the guy that uh, has no x's or y's is on the, the other side. So basically, and also we, we do need to, what you see read there, be sure a and B and C are all integers, okay? So basically, I'm looking to number 21, and uh, the first thing I want to do is to eliminate that one half. And how do we eliminate that uh, one over two? Just by multiplying by two. Okay, so now we're going to have 2y equal distributive property here. 1 half times 2 is 1. 1x, one or just x. And 2 times 2 is 4, so we have x minus 4. So almost there to what we need to have. We have to do one more thing. Um, and here I will usually I like to have the x term as being a positive uh, term. In other words, in this case, I'll want to keep it as a 1x. So basically, I'll add 4. Okay. And then I'll subtract 2y. This is the standard form of this equation. Obviously, we can read it from the other side, from uh, right to left. Okay, so uh, that is pretty much what you need to do on number 21. Go ahead and try number 22, pause this video clip, and I will see you. As you see, it's a, a lot simpler than the other one. We just have to add 7x, and uh, then we have 7x plus y equals negative 9. Now, one reason for using this uh, standard form is sometimes it's a lot easier to graph equation by just using what we call the intercepts. If intercepts, we have two of them, right? x-intercept, y-intercept. Uh, and uh, in this case, for a linear equation, uh, we have one x-intercept and y, y intercept. How do we find them? Very simple, x-intercept means y equals zero. So basically, all that equation we have is going to be reduced to x equals negative four. And do not forget, the point we have, it's in fact negative four and zero. The y-intercept, yes, 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 means x equals 0. Uh, 
So obviously we end up with negative 4y equals negative 4 divided by negative 4 and we get y equals 1. So the point is obviously zero and one. You have the two important points usual for a linear equation, the y-intercept and the x-intercept. You can graph it very fast. The first one, the x-intercept negative four and zero, the y-intercept zero and one. And that's it. So, as I said before, very fast method, if, uh, especially if, uh, if the numbers are friendly in your problem. Uh, go ahead and try number 24. Stop the video clips and I will see you back on here. So if you end up with uh, this graph and this x and y intercept, guess what? You did a very good job. If you enjoyed the video clips, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more math video clips. Thank you and have a great day.